Hello everyone and welcome back to Soul Standing. My name is Beth and I am here today with my Friday Reads video. But before I get into telling you about the books, I want to update you on the basketball. I know some of you have watched my previous videos where I'm talking about how busy I've been with basketball and have been messaging me or commenting on things, you know, wishing my kids good luck and all that jazz. Well, we are in the playoffs for the first time in a long time, like over a decade. And the girls lost the game tonight, so they're out of the playoffs. But the boys won their regional playoff game tonight, which means we play again tomorrow night. And I just got the final score from our opponent's game, which was deciding who our opponent for tomorrow night is going to be. And in a strange twist of events, my students from this year are playing my students from last year. So Freedom and Forgan will be going up against each other tomorrow night, and I get to low-key cheer for the couple of kids I had in class from Forgan last year, and just really even enjoy our points more than I normally do, which is going to be quite a lot. Uh, however, I think it's going to be fun. I'm going to get to see some of the students I had last year, and I'm just... I always have a good time at basketball games and super proud of all the hard work that the coaches and team have done this year. They've been amazing. I'm so proud of all of them. And I just wanted to get that out of the way before I talked about the books because that game is at eight o'clock tomorrow night. So I may not get any reading done on Friday. I am filming this on Thursday, by the way, obviously. Um, so that game is at eight o'clock. Friday night, and I am going to take a certification test for my school on Saturday, so I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done uh, Saturday either. Da, 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 da. All right. Uh, anyway, more excitement about the basketball games. But I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done. I do have audiobooks. One of the audiobooks I have is for The Goldfinch by Donna Tart. I tried to read this a couple of years ago and didn't even get through chapter one. So I'm already further along than I was the first time I tried. I got this copy for a dollar at our library and it's in really, really good condition. I was super excited. But what's helping me get through is that I was finally able to get the audiobook. So I, you know, the first chapter was an hour and a half long. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get through this, but I am currently trying to read it and I'm enjoying it more this time than I did last time. So that's awesome. And I will be listening slash reading this book over the weekend. And I'm also doing a reread of Throne of Glass. I read this two or three years ago when it first, when it first came out, but when it kind of blew up on booktube. And now there are 432,000 uh, books in this series. But when, it, when I first read it, I think there were three books in the series. And I read all three of them, and that was what my library had. So I didn't continue on. But now I'm going to try to continue on with that series. And really, these are the two books that I'm working on this weekend. I do not believe that I'm going to get through either one of them. However, if I do, I have other books. Elena and I are getting ready to start book two in Allie Finkel's Rules for Girls series by Meg Cabot. And it's called New Girl. We have that on audiobook. And then I also have the audiobook for In Shining Armor, which is the fourth book in the Pax Arcana series by Elliot James. And then I have The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. This is the author of Unhooked. And I read Unhooked a couple of years ago and absolutely adored it. And so I followed her on Instagram and all that jazz and got to see kind of the process of The Last Magician coming about into book form and waited semi impatiently for my library to get it. Now they have it. So now I'm going to read it. Um, if I finish with Throne of Glass, then I'll be starting that one. And then sometime soon, I'm going to be starting... Diana Gabaldon's Dragonfly in Amber, which is book two in the Outlander series. I really should have started this at the very beginning of the month, but I was hoping to get the audiobook for it. I haven't been able to do that yet. 
So I'm just going to restart it in paperback form. I read this book before, but just like Outlander, it's been over a decade since I read it. So I don't really remember what happens, but I'm looking forward to rediscovering that and moving on with this series. And those are all of the books that I have to talk to you about today and the basketball things that I have to talk to you about today. So these are my main reads for the weekend. I would love to hear what you guys are up to, what you're reading, what you're enjoying doing, and what your favorite sport is. For the record, my favorite sport is actually baseball. Uh, basketball has not been this big a part of my life ever. Even when I was playing basketball, I didn't care about it this much. So I may soon have to change and like say basketball is tied for first with baseball. Baseball will always be first in my heart. Yay, Texas Rangers. Uh, anyway, that was in no way awkward at all, but I'm going to sign off now and go to bed because it's late Thursday night and I am tired. Tomorrow's going to be a long day, guys, but I'm super excited about it and I'm excited about this weekend and I hope you guys are going to have a fabulous Friday, an amazing weekend, and a very highly enjoyable February. Until next time, stay cool, guys.